I want to try and experiment again when it comes to full body daily workouts. Um, I know that for a time I did them and I don't believe that I was being conservative enough with the way I was doing, you know, uh, performing and the way I was putting intensity onto each exercise and whatnot. I think I was bringing too much intensity. And then I'd be working out at like the tail end of my day. So that could have led to just me feeling a lot more tired. And then, of course, it's not like I wasn't getting enough school. So I wasn't really putting the work. I wasn't really adjusting the work when it came to my ability to recover. So today, for example, um, I was at school for like the whole day, basically. And I came home. It was dark. I wanted to work out outside, but I couldn't, unfortunately. So today I was like, okay, I'm just I'm gonna do one set per exercise, right? So, just one set of pull ups, one set of pike push ups, one set of chin ups, one set of push ups. Uh, I did one set of tricep extensions and bicep curls, ring bicep curls, and then I did one set of leg raises, and then my last thing was like just my hundred reps of squats, and. I went to failure on, you know, all the other movements. Um, and it's kind of something that I've uh, seen from K Bogues, his channel, um, where saying like people on a tighter time budget, they can try and do one set a day. So like something like, you know, one set of pushups a day. So I'm kind of thinking, hopefully I'm not misinterpreting what he was trying to say, but I'm kind of also thinking like, okay, if that's the case, then how about one set of you know, pushing two, you know, two pulling movements, two pushing movements, you know, um, making sure that they're kind of switched up in a way to where they target almost, almost completely different muscles. Um, so, you know, I, I mean, of course, right now I'm, I'm just tired in general. I'm tired because I had a full day, but um, this doesn't feel like, you know, it's like beat the heck out of me or whatever. And, you know, I, I feel pretty well. I mean, I just got through with the workout. Um, it's just literally one set. And one thing is, one thing is interesting is like, for me, I feel like I have to do more in order to feel like I accomplished like a, like a nice training session. But if I want to try and keep up things and maintain things the way I want them to, then it would be a lot more beneficial for me to just stop at the one set. Um, you know, the one set to failure and then just move on to the next exercise without burning myself out too much. So I just, again, just I just want to keep experimenting with the daily full body. Um, I think it's very interesting. Uh, I felt like, um, you know, maybe it was just like due to continuous blurred circulation, but I felt like there was like just a lot more uh, muscle mass, um, I mean, not something that is super comparable to the way I look now, but I feel like I just, in general, like when I woke up, it already felt like maybe as if I had like a pump. Um, I was able to get into certain exercises without having to warm up as much. It was like my body was getting completely used to just doing those movement patterns every day that at some point it's like I didn't even need to really warm up that much because again, it's like, one example was my wrist. My wrist were getting very much used to being in a chin up position. Um, push ups as well. So, uh, but over time, um, when I stopped doing the full body, and my wrist would kind of get irritated, stuff like that. Uh, even things like my hips and my glutes, they would get irritated because I wasn't like doing a hundred squats every day. Uh, so, again, I just want to experiment with with the full body. Um, just to try it again, not quit it. I want to try it again and try it as best as I can, possibly by doing more research or just just experimenting with certain exercise regimens myself um, and workout plans myself when it comes to full body training and just, you know, to see how it is. Um, because I am, I, you know, I am training to get results here. So I know I need to push my body to a certain degree in order to get those results. But I want to do them daily, right? Like sure, that might, name, might not be quote unquote, like optimal, but it's just something that I want to do. And I want to try and experiment, right? And the process of building muscle takes time anyway. So why not, you know, try and see how I can experiment, see how I can, 
you know, go through trial and error and basically just try stuff out myself instead of just reading scientific papers or or following like, you know, some guy I watch on YouTube. Why not just try things out myself and then see how my body reacts and how I feel about things. Uh, so that way I can like, you know, actually see what is right for me instead of like what is just being prescribed or whatever the case may be. And it, it's going to allow me to have a lot more um, sense of like, I wouldn't say entitlement, but something where it's like it feels like it's my own. Um, since now it's like I'm creating a type of workout plan that can almost in general just be just for me almost. Um, by again, like researching just other individuals and then trying these things out, trying what they say out for myself to see how well it works for me. Um, so yeah, I just want to, I just really want to see how training daily goes because again, like one thing too, is like, I think just the, the, the art of training daily, like training, like doing like the same couple of things every day. I think that's cool because it's like, we are what we do repeatedly. Right. And I feel like for me, in order for me to get really good at things, I feel like I need to be able to do them very, very frequently. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that in my life that I've gotten obsessed with and I would uh, kind of be obsessed with them and follow them and do those things like every day, like drawing. I would draw like every day, hours a day, stuff like that. And for me here, it's like, I kind of want to do the same thing with training. I want to train every day. I want to be able to do like pull-ups every day. I want to do push-ups every day. I want to do squats every day, right? I, I like that. Um, I like the idea of doing that. I just, I just love it in general. So I just want to find whatever way I can in order to make it work. So I'm just going to be revisiting full body. Um, for right now, I'm going to be doing just maybe one or two sets um, every day and this coming like week I'm gonna have a break from my school we're gonna have our spring break so that'll probably allow me to have a bit more experimentation with seeing um, how far I can push things um, should I be going to failure how far should I be stopping to failure if I were to do a second set should it be like you know um, a set and a half right so Again, just really trying to see like what's going to work for me and what is going to keep me from basically uh, reaching, uh, you know, being outburned or burnt out um, and keeping me from getting overly fatigued or really taxing my CNS. And of course, being able to just, like switch out certain exercises and switch out variations here and there and see again, just see what works for me. Just experiment. Right. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to also experiment, too. Don't just follow whatever exercise program. I mean, as a beginner, you respond to anything. But as someone who discovers how they actually want to achieve their fitness, it's going to take a lot of experimentation and a lot of trial and error to really build your own program that you feel like is like right for you. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's what I think. I think we should be able to have our own urgency and have our own independence to be able to make and create things on our own. So that way we don't have to rely or depend on any other outside resource. So at the end of the day, it's like at some point you should be trying to make your own workout program. So you should be seeing the quote unquote optimal things and unoptimal things and researching stuff like that and really getting into it. So that way you can have the knowledge to make your own exercise programs and you can have the knowledge to even pass on to others to make their own exercise programs. And when it comes to making your exercise program, since I'm on the topic of that, first, you want to know what it is that you want. So let's say you want to do calisthenics and you want to build muscle off of calisthenics. So primarily the best thing to do is just to take whatever exercises that are gonna target certain muscle groups. So you want to build a bigger chest. Let's just say you specifically want to build a bigger chest in calisthenics. You don't care about anything else. You want to take a push variation. Um, and this push variation can be something like, I would say probably two pushing variations, a dip and a push up, right? Now, if you want a full chest experience, you probably want to do a decline push up. And then for the entire rest of your chest, especially lower chest, do dips, right? So you would want to kind of do probably two to three sets going to failure on dips and push-ups. 
And you want to repeat this possibly two to three times out of the week, even maybe even more if you're able to recover from that. And what you all have to do is just you're just going to have to uh, rest and recover in between. Uh, make sure you do what's ne necessary. Um, and then maybe at some point you can work up to every day. But when it comes to muscle building, it's not like there's a specific rep range. Reps all the way from, you know, five all the way to 35 plus. They can build muscle as long as you're taking the, the you know, the muscle groups, the targeted muscle groups to failure or close to failure or even beyond failure. It's just you just have to challenge the muscle because the muscle has to go under some type of intense stimulus to have a reason to grow. The reason why our muscles grow because it's a survival response to adapting to our situations. So if you give it enough reason, it will grow, it will improve. That's, you know, that's how human beings work in general, mentally, that's how we work physically. So again, you kind of want to transfer over the, those types of thinking into your own physical training. And, you know, hopefully at some point, even with your own research, don't just follow what I say, even with your own research and what you look into, you can start making your own exercise program for yourself or even for others. Or again, like I said, giving other people the knowledge to um, be independent with their own workout programs and their own fitness. But that's all, I, you know, that's really all I have to say here. Um, I know it was a bit shorter, uh, or at least with me talking, I'm not talking the whole video. But hey, man, I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. It's 1051. Um, but in general, I got to go to workout in. I had a pretty productive day. I can't wait for this quarter to end. And... Actually, I do end up talking the whole video. Never mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, especially concerning like workout programs or how to start, you know, whatever the case may be, please do in the comments. I will try my best to get to you. I really do love the support. Um, you know, have a great one.